Anyone that's anyone that comes to this channel and views a video knows that I try to be as objective as possible. Yesterday I made a video talking about the nerfing of the masterwork drop rates which in turn impacts legendaries, the saga that lasted 11 hours. After much deliberation and much reading today, I made one fundamental discovery, one that shocked me and ultimately one that really allowed me to see things the way they really was. I was wrong, and this revelation may not be something of import to many of you, but to me it is, cause I look into things a lot before doing anything, and to realise how wrong I really was annoyed me. I've been told you're only covering Anthem cause of your YouTube channel, and I mean with 500 to 1000 views per video, clearly that's not the case, I earn nothing from that video, so doing it for the sake of the channel is not the case. I am asked why am I covering Anthem, it's a dead game. But the reality is, I'm enjoying it. I'm 20 hours in and only halfway through the main campaign and loving the journey. Now I'm not level 30 yet and have yet to experience the endgame grind for myself, so I'm only going what's been reported by people I talk to regularly and trust and things I've seen. To say Anthem has been bashed like no other is an understatement. In fact, at this point, I'm almost convinced it's worse than the No Man's Sky bashing that took place when Sony invested all its chips into one basket. And sure, some of it is deserved, like the crashing, the loading, but more importantly, the one that matters more to this genre of gaming more than ever is the loot. And they have not only failed the loot, but they have fundamentally failed here. Sure, there are exploits, if you could call them that, at the start of the game, where chests on Grandmaster 1, 2 and 3 during missions and contracts were dropping masterwork items when they shouldn't be and a fix on Friday was applied to fix it. And fix it it did, just it introduced an unforeseen bug that wasn't picked up, a bug the community greatly enjoyed. The new patch arrived on the 22nd and it was dropping plenty of masterwork items, a stronghold was netting you 4-5 items a run before the boss and the community was all over this. They were loving the drop rate and play just increased and people were excited to play and get loot, I mean it's a loot shooter right? Who doesn't like loot? Well the hotfix landed on the 23rd and people started rushing to the subreddit posting that something is incredibly wrong with the drop rates. They were now getting one masterwork item, two if they were extremely lucky. Up to the recent Friday change, people were having a lot of fun in the game, and rightfully so. Who doesn't like the shiny, flashy, flashy loot? Since the update, people are reporting Division 1 early reward type system where getting high end was deemed worthy of a sacrifice, only to be followed by utter disappointment when you realised it was another really bad performance mod. The grind got plain old and honestly started driving many players away myself included. It's the main reason I stopped playing Destiny after all. After 1500 hours in Destiny 2 I finally gave up because I realised Bungie will not respect my time invested with cool loot. Division did the same and though Ubisoft fixed this, it was far too late. Now Bioware find themselves in a similar situation. You can't give a baby candy and then take it away. The baby will cry cause it wants the candy. That applies very much so in full here. In that 11 hours, people were playing non-stop, loving the loot drop, excited to see what they get. Removing that was not a smart move. Maybe limit legendary items, but not masterworks. I mean, when a dev from Diablo comes out and openly states that this is not how you do things and it goes against the very nature of a looter shooter, you know you have a problem on your hand. Ben, however, did come out and make a statement. He said, hey, update on what happened here. In our Friday changes, one of the edits we made had the side effect of increasing certain drop chances. This was not intended. Once we identified the problem, we changed it back to how it was before. That was about 11 hours later. Took a little time for the message to make it around internally and to make sure we understood what happened and how to avoid it going forward. It's never been our intent to make changes without being transparent, so we wanted to come here to respond and clarify. Now, I understand it took them 11 hours to get the patch up, I mean even that is pretty damn impressive. I mean it could have been done sooner, and it probably should have been done sooner, but the bottom line is, the turnaround for the patch was fine. The problem is, was that patch reverting back to the old system needed? And is it actually the right thing to do right now with the current system of loot? And if you ask me, the answer is no. Why is this you ask? because there is another underlying problem here. There are these things called inscriptions. 
up to four are applied to your items, two on components. The inscriptions themselves are broken. Many do not work. Many are on items that the inscriptions literally has no effect. The loot system out the door is a mess. In fact, I will go as far as saying it's broken. How can you get inscriptions on items where they will have no effect? I mean, it's a no brainer, right? That should not be possible at all. As an example, Colossus Flamethrower should not be able to have a physical damage bonus. It has zero effect, but it's actually possible and a wasted perk. Something like this should have been prevented from the get go. But the bottom line is we've accepted the way the system is for now because we've been told, at least for when it comes to masterworks and legendaries, these are being looked at and will be fixed in the shortest time possible. And considering Bioware's recent turnaround when it comes to major issues, you can expect a speedy recovery for this, at least based on precedence. But getting back on track, so what you had was a system where you had a high drop rate of items, but low chance of getting that god roll, but it kept the fire alive for you to continue farming. What we have now is a low drop rate and a low chance of getting an average roll. This is quite possibly the worst system you can have and one Ubisoft ultimately paid a heavy price with when playing The Division. So what we have now is a system that doesn't reward you for your time investment, effort or any of their kind. It's wrong and this needs to change ASAP. It's a PvE game. There is no reason for this level of drop rates to be so low. Add to this, you can get completely pointless perks as well, like magazine sites and clip sites, which do exactly the same thing, but are different. And you start to feel a little miffed by that. Maybe having a two tier system, major perks and lesser perks, make the major perks be for things that actually matter, that increase your damage, that benefit you and make you stronger with lesser ones aimed at reload and recall and things like this. <sighs> One thing for sure, the loot system needs work, and if this is not changed, many will walk away, and it's a shame. There are many, many things wrong with Anthem. This doesn't need to be one of them. Return the drop rate to the way it was, bring the system back, and once you fix everything, you can then make adjustments. Just don't use a guillotine as you have now. It's not fun for the community that is still here playing. Another point is the fact that the loot pool is shared and there is no focused loot because the loot can drop anywhere because it's a shared pool. Everyone is now farming Tyrant Mine as it's the only real feasible one as the rest are just too long, boring or simply bugged out. Targeted gear is highly recommended to make everything plausible, to make all content playable. The current system alienates so much content it baffles me as to why this decision was made. I was never a fan of this system, I've never experienced it, but having experienced it, I can understand the deficiencies now better than before. Sadly, I see more people stepping back as the general consensus now is that the time investment for farming masterwork and legendaries simply isn't worth it, and the time is better spent doing something else. Ultimately, a looter shooter like this is all about the loot and min maxing. If you remove the loot as it's a mess right now, and the min maxing, seeing as the drop rates now is horrendous, you remove the core endgame of Anthem. Removing the core reason after the main campaign to play Anthem means the game will die, period. I mean, people are posting pictures of GM1 and GM2 strongholds being complete and they are rewarded with whites and blues. Come on, not even purples. I mean, I like Anthem and I enjoy Anthem. I really do like I said at the start of the video. However, if Bioware continues down the path of Destiny and The Division in their grand plan to not reward the player base with anything worth their time investment and expect that to be a tactic to keep the player base playing, they're in for a big surprise. They are greatly mistaken that the community will just stick around. What will happen in the end is the devs simply will be playing with themselves on their own within their own instance and what once had great potential and an amazing future could very well crumble and dissolve into nothingness. Bioware, please drop everything you're doing and reassess this situation and revert the drops. If nothing else till the inscriptions are fixed or ultimately with the current extreme low drop rates, till things are fixed and I'm aware they are being fixed, you're gonna have a game that no one logs into. The bottom line is, it's a looter shooter. Restricting access to loot is a bad thing. The inscriptions are broken, we already know this, and they are currently broken in the game and they have not yet been fixed. 
restricting the drop chance now with the way the inscriptions are just makes no sense. So I'm pleading with you Bioware, having read the forums, having seen actual friends send me clips of what's happening and the drops they've been getting, this is really unacceptable at this point and I really hope someone is going to watch this video, tweet out this video, send this video to the ones that actually matter, Ben, Michael, Jesse, at Anthem Game, Reddit, wherever it needs to go. But I'm hoping that this video will reach where it needs to go because right now this needs attention and it needs to be reverted because it's simply not fun to play once you get to the end game. And considering the end game is all we have right now, until May when cataclysms arrive, well that's a big problem because no one's going to spend 4 hours or 8 hours farming for one masterwork item that's got broken inscriptions on it. So either you revert the system or be prepared to hemorrhage a lot of players. Like I said, I'm not at the end game yet. I'm only level 17 or 18. I am thoroughly enjoying the game and I hope by the time I do get to level 30, this will be fixed and I can continue enjoying the game. Well everyone, that's my view on this and my feedback to Bioware. Like, share and subscribe, share on Twitter, on Reddit and get this out there. Changes need to be made now. Thank you for watching and until next time, remain legend.